I am gonna make a lactating cocktail. cocktail. So my little padsicle situation. I wanted to make this video for like forever. Here are some inspiration photos. Tuesday morning and I wasn't even gonna vlog today but I just keep finding myself like I want to literally remember every single moment so I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and vlog why not so Jack just left for the office he is not like technically working in the office um, he's taking the next two weeks off to work from home but he's not really like working consistently he's just like taking calls stuff like that he had to run to where he works really quick to get some like blueprint plans or something for a job and he took the girls with him to get them out of the house for a little bit and me and Calvin are here just hanging out at the house so I'm going to I've been up for a little while I've had my coffee stuff like that um I'm going to do my skincare routine Callan's laying down just relaxing so I'm gonna do my skincare routine do a little like clean up around the house and yeah so so now I have some free time this morning to do a little bit of clean up between the next time Callan feeds so I decided that I want to kind of reorganize my bathroom area because wait a second turn this light on because I have a ton of like random stuff like I have these tucks these pads dermoplast everything that I've been using for like my healing process and I want to organize them because they've been like consuming our little toiletry room and I need to just organize it because it's it's kind of just been a mess the last couple of days so what I'm gonna do is I have this little clear container and I've been keeping it under my sink but I think I'm going to put all of my stuff in there so up. Another thing that I want to share is my little like, padsicle situation because it's been super helpful. So let me show you. When I was at the hospital, they gave me uh, these huge pads to put my underwear because you do tend to bleed quite a bit, like especially right after. And the bleeding continues on for, could be like up to six weeks. Um, it's not that heavy for six weeks, but you do bleed. So anyway, they sent me home with some pads. I did run out of the pads, but I ended up having, I bought these in preparation for whenever I did come home. So I would take one of these pads and then lay it out um, and I would take these tux wipes which I'll show you this one is about empty but they come with just these like little damp like saturated pads and you can buy these from Walmart CVS literally anywhere um, the hospital did supply me with some while I was there and they were willing to give me some before I left but I didn't need them because I ended up picking up a pack. But anyway, they come in a little container like this and I would put three flat in my pad. Then I would spray the pad and my area with this Dermaplast. It's cooling and it just felt amazing. And then I would get these little cloths they're like little um 
like 100% cotton gynecologist cloths and I would pat myself dry just pat it dry with one of these and then I put my pad on and call it good also whenever I would pee I would use warm water in these bottles and spray down there to like help relieve the area I will say when I was at the hospital this was super helpful but because I didn't really tear I didn't really need these but if you were to tear you're gonna want this so warm or hot water whatever you prefer spray your area down there while you're peeing and it makes a world of a difference and then also the hospital gave me a bunch of these to bring home i wore these whenever i was in the hospital they're like little disposable underwear like briefs and they were super helpful they're breathable um and i would just put my pad in one of these um and I wore them for like the first like day or two whenever I came home. But right now I'm just in regular underwear with a pad. And I feel completely fine. But anyway. I am going to put my stuff in this little coat here. Um, for the most part, I don't really feel like I need to um, be using these making this situation in my pad like i feel like i'm pretty i'm pretty good but i am going to um keep it in the bathroom area just in case because i'm not completely healed is what i'm saying so i'm going to just kind of make this available for if and when i need it I would say in like a week or so, I probably won't need to use much of any of this, but we'll see. I don't know that for sure. So anyway, this is my situation. This is probably something that could have been put together before I even went to the hospital, but I didn't know if I would have a vaginal birth. I kind of assumed I might have a c-section but I was wrong so have my little um, dry cloths here um, disposable dry cloths the tux thermoplast my water bottle um, some pads and then I have these little witch hazel um, wipes I definitely am going to keep some of these in my diaper bag as well so I if I'm on the go, I can use them instead of using like toilet paper. Oh, the thought of using toilet paper down there, just like not cool. Um, but also these are great little witch hazel wipes for even the baby. Um, wiping pretty much anywhere on the skin, witch hazel is great for just like a cleansing cloth. So anyway, I'm going to put this in our little toiletry toilet room and call it good. So something that was super helpful, my sister-in-law actually got these for me, is these little Freedom Mom ice packs and their pads. You just pop them and they get cold and you can put them in your pad, in your underwear. And I'm telling you, they are amazing. The bag of these are kind of pricey, I'm not going to lie, but they have been a lifesaver. So I had a lot of swelling and discomfort, so something like this definitely helps and I've been just putting them on um, after like sitting on the couch and stuff all day it just becomes really uncomfortable so putting one of these on is amazing
face. What is that face? <laughs> Jackson is back and we're gonna make some breakfast and I'm gonna continue cleaning up around the house and I am going to pump while I do so. Callan is sleeping and we've just been putting him in the dock a tot and letting him just kind of snooze throughout the day. Um, I want to hold him a ton, which I, ha I do, I, I do hold him a lot, but I just don't want him to get used to that all the time, so we put him in the dock a tot um, so I can get some stuff done, but yeah. Anyway, pumping now, and um, I'm gonna finish cleaning up the house a little bit. We are doing newborn photos tomorrow, and we are having the girl that did these photos in our announcement photos we're having her come to the house tomorrow and take newborn photos i am so so excited but that being said i need to put some outfits together for not only me but also um jackson and cal so i we ended up finding this shirt for jack i don't know if he'll wear it because it's kind of like pulling a little bit more of a green tone and I don't know if I can find something that is gonna match for me, but that's one option. It's just like one of the Goodfellow shirts from Target. Um, but I'm thinking like something cute, maybe something cozy because it is gonna be an in-home shoot. I have some inspiration pictures. Um, but I'm not entirely sure yet. So let me pull up what I have so far. Here are some inspiration photos that I want to show her. If it'll focus. So I'm thinking like I'll probably wear a dress of some sort. And then like color match whatever I wear to Jack. But anyway. Let me try and figure something out here. Okay, so I've managed to lay out a couple of options. I think we're gonna do two outfit changes. And I think this is what I've come to. So I think first one is going to be a little bit more springy. Um, I've been really into green lately and I feel like these are really good colors together. I also think I have a bandana or two about this color for the girls. So Jack's going to wear this Goodfellow shirt. Like I said, it's from Target um, and some dark jeans. I've had this dress for forever it's like a little off the shoulder and it's by and the y and it's just simple just like a i think a midi skirt dress and then um he will have like a matching little ripped onesie i want to say this is from walmart it's that the new like walmart brand and i love how just simple and cute it is love then we're gonna do a dressier, well not really, more dressy for Jack anyway. He's gonna wear this mocha brown quarter zip. This color is like all throughout our house, um, along with the black. So I'm gonna wear this little puff sleeve midi dress, um, something just kind of like flattering. My belly is not all the way down, so this will kind of hide the pouch that I have right now. And then I think I'm going to put the baby in this with a little swaddle about the same color 
and that'll be good um and then i was gonna do this one but i feel like it's a little too green so i'm gonna hold off on that um and then here are some like swaddle options that we have um i'm not really sure i'm kind of leaning more towards this one with this outfit and then i think i was gonna do this one with this but i think i'm gonna do the the checkered swaddle that we have that's in the wash right now it's more closer to this color so anyway there's that i'm gonna put these i'm gonna hang them up so um i can steam them later so they're good and ready for photos tomorrow because she is going to be here i think at like 9 a.m tomorrow so i'm gonna do that i also want to hop in the shower jack is in the other room doing some work so i figure i'm gonna bring he's in the dock tot so i'm gonna bring the dock tot in the bathroom and just take a little shower um i want to wash my hair all of that stuff because i haven't done that since i was in the hospital so anyway i am going to just have a little bit of me time and get ready and then also his parents and grandparents are coming over this evening to see the baby they haven't seen him since we left the hospital so they're gonna come visit so i want to kind of get ready for that so anyway there's a little update we have a little we have a little upset boy yeah it's okay don't you pinky don't you pinky here okay pro tip if you haven't already you have to get a docatot or the snuggle me lounger i literally set it here while i took a shower turned off the lights that's why it's dark in here this is all water spots so sorry looks weird but it's just water um but yeah just let him sit there while i take a shower and he was so content and i was able to take my time and like actually like shave and feel good so yeah just a little tip um definitely worth the purchase to get the snowy lounger or the dock tot now i think i'm going to let my hair air dry i want to like blow it out with my revlon wand um and yeah i'm gonna get ready and do my makeup all that stuff just like a light a light face of makeup um nothing crazy that I did not film tonight but we made it back home we went to dinner with Jackson's parents and his grandparents and now we are relaxing I just got out of the shower and he's in the living room playing with Callan girls are just hanging out on the bed snoozing um, I think we're gonna get ready and go to bed because we have photos tomorrow so we're doing our newborn 
photos and I'm so so excited we're starting at 9 tomorrow so um, I definitely am gonna have to get up early to make sure everything's good with Cal and the feedings and all that stuff so anyway we're gonna go to bed and I think I'm gonna continue filming tomorrow so I will see you guys tomorrow it's all right Bubba yeah <laughs> Okay, we're nursing and Chelsea's on her way. We're taking our uh, newborn pictures today. I'm so excited. And um, Chelsea did our maternity photos and she rocked them. So I'm excited for her to get here today. She should be here like any second. So hopefully all goes well. Oh, he's just looking right at you. Picture. Get some long eyelashes. <laughs> You're okay, Chelsea just left. Photos went amazing. He did so good. I'm so so excited for them. Um, now he's a little milk drunk, but he's been so so good, haven't you? It was amazing, and I'm so excited. So. Anyway, um, it's kind of dark in here, but hopefully he's going to take a little nap. And then I think Jack and I, Jack, mainly just Jack, is going to make breakfast. I think we're going to have bacon and waffles. Right? And the girls were in the pictures too. They did so good. Didn't they? They did do really good. I thought they did awesome. Especially Harlow. She was very in tune with the photos. She liked Chelsea too. So, anyway, that is an update. I think we're just gonna chill, right? I might, if I am up for it, I might do um, some editing this afternoon, but um, as of right now, I'm just gonna eat some breakfast and relax. You got up pretty early today. You slept four hours, four and a half hours? Five hours. Five hours last night? Yeah, he slept um, five hours last night, which is amazing for a newborn. So we were able to get up kind of early and shower, get ready and all that. But um, yeah, Mr. is getting a little fuss. So I'm gonna feed him and let him take a little nap and we can eat some breakfast. Yeah, you want some breakfast? Oh, okay, all right, okay, 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 all right. Okay, I'm making breakfast. I am gonna make a lactating cocktail. cocktail. I'll get back to you on uh, flavor and like what I like better. I have two different things of uh, milk supply supplement or like, uh, let me see, what's it called? Basically just to help with your milk flow and your breast supply. Um, I've already tried this one. It's called Upspring Milk Flow. Um, not the best flavor, but I did notice after I drank this that day that my milk did come in. Like I really started oh, yeah. um, lactating. So that is one option. One of my girlfriends got this for me and it's not bad. Then I have this one for my sister-in-law and it's a berry lemonade and it is called Lucky Ducks, which is hilarious to me. Um, hilarious branding, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try this one today. So I have my Stanley and fun fact, if you drink, what is it? Three of these a day, it's a gallon. Yep. And I definitely drink over three of these a day. So 
if you're looking to up your water intake, highly suggest the, what, $60 for this cup to me. That one was 45 or 50. Well, that's not bad. Um, yeah, so anyway. They're probably more expensive now. I kind of bought it early on. Yeah, they are worth it though. If you're wanting stuff. to up your, in, your water intake, especially as a mom. So I'm gonna do one of these packets. Are you putting all that in there? Well, one packet of this. And OJ in the um, body. Then I'm gonna do one of these um, liquid IVs. I love these. I drank these through the hospital. I was doing the, the liquid IV in the water and I really think it, it helps. So anyway, one of these. It'll come out. I didn't cut the thing very good. Come on. Okay. And liquid IVs, if you've never had them, they're just like a electrolyte drink. They come in different flavors. This one's strawberry. Then I'm going to take this body armor, which I've said this before. Body armor is known for being amazing for helping your milk supply. So and yeah, it's just like there's so many things and if you want to um, Screenshot this uh, the screen, but just buy it and like I said we buy flats of them at a time Then this like filled it up halfway. So with the remainder, I'm gonna just top it off with orange juice cuz I Mean who doesn't love orange juice? And I'm gonna put a little bit more ice in it it up really good like really good because you don't want your stuff to be chunky in the bottom How's that Taste test. not bad tastes like just like a tropical little drink it's not bad at all I think the um, yeah, it, I would literally drink this all the time. Wow, this is amazing. Hmm. Cheers. I am currently laying in bed. I'm vlogging on my phone because I left my card in my laptop. And that's in the living room. And I didn't want to go grab it. But I was going to update you guys. So I did some editing this afternoon got a youtube video up to you guys um it was the like final day before i went in and got induced like the day before so it was a lot of like chatty talking and like giving you guys a little rundown of what was going to be happening and so i'm so excited to be able to get like all these videos up um, I'm really, really excited to start vlogging or to edit the next two vlogs because it is the induction day vlog and my birth vlog. So, so excited. I've wanted to make this video for like forever. So, I can't wait. But now I'm laying in bed. Um, oh. Nala's going to get up here and lay beside me. I'm having a little snack. Um, I'm obsessed with these little... Hi. Okay, that's good. I'm obsessed with these little um, No BS bars. Lay down. Um, because I feel like I've been eating a ton um, from my nursing. I feel like every single time I nurse, I'm like starving after, which is good. And I'm going to keep eating because I want my milk supply girls lay down sit down sit down lay down i'm gonna keep eating and listening to my body because i want my milk supply to continue to come in and it's been coming in like really good so i'm super excited about that but anyway relaxing in bed super feel good i um my body is feeling good i'm like a little sore still but not bad um and getting both a 
YouTube video and a TikTok video up today was like, it felt so good to like get back into the swing of things. So anyway, I'm going to watch some YouTube, maybe scroll on some TikTok for a little bit. The baby's in the living room with Jack and he's snoozing. Jackson's doing a little bit of work. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we might have some friends over tonight. I'm not really sure. Um, they haven't got to meet Callan yet, so I definitely want to have them come and meet him. But yeah, that's a little update. What's up, guys? I'm cooking dinner tonight. Yeah, she cooked dinner for once, aka she ordered Grubhub. <laughs> we're um, sitting here watching a movie. Yeah, her other boyfriend, Chris Pratt. He's been shortli shirtless for the first 10 minutes of this movie, so she's like ecstatic about it. But uh, if you guys know her at all, you can probably guess what she she got. Watch out, Harlow. Um, Casey's pizza. Surprise, surprise. It's like uh, God's nectar to her or something. They were out of brownie bites. Very sorry. Thank you. On the on the box. So yeah, she. Uh, I think it's a small town thing. Growing up, I don't know. Bad habit. We got to try to fix it. But oh, it's for the time being, we're stuck with Casey's Pizza. Okay. We are watching. I think it's called the Tomorrow War, and it has Chris Pratt in it, which he's like my celebrity crush. Um, Jackson is currently changing Callan and yeah we just finished eating dinner he videoed it I think we had Casey's pizza he doesn't like his diaper changed but anyway I think I'm gonna end off this vlog now it's been um, I'm pretty sure the last couple of days and I think I have quite a bit of footage so if you guys enjoyed you should definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I can't wait to make more newborn baby content for you. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.